We're here in Stuart Causeway. Gwen isn't here, but we're gonna interview a bunch of people about, oh, here's a guy. Huh? Is winging hard or easy? Ah, winging is so easy. I mean, I see all of them, they just hold that thing and then they go, it's very easy. Get ready. We're gonna ask a bunch of people, is winging hard or easy? Here we go. Hey, we got a question for you. Can I interview you? Sure. <laughs> okay. This is important, peoples. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is winging hard or easy? It's hard. <laughs> Especially for slobs like me. <laughs> is winging hard or is it easy? It's fairly easy. I would have to say it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. You know, it's coming from a windsurfing background, kiteboarding. Winging's tough. I think it's easy. I found it to be pretty hard to learn. It's hard until it's easy. <laughs> okay, that's very, that was political, that was awesome. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's both. Oh, winging is way, way easier than kiting, in my opinion, way easier. Uh, once you get over the learning curve, it's not so bad. I am about six months into it, yeah. and I'm working on easy. I haven't <laughs> quite gotten there yet. Easier when you have a lot of wind, but you have to put the time. It's different, but as a windsurfer, you know, my background, it, it, the difficulty is going from, from being back here yep. to now standing up here. And if there was one piece of advice that you could give somebody out there that was getting into it, what would it be? I would say just try to do the best you can and be prepared, read up on the sport, talk to as many people as you could possibly can that are experienced winners so they can give you an idea of what you're getting into. Make sure you do your research, your due diligence, and then jump in. But you have to, be, you have to really be willing to hang in there. I love it. Just keep at it. I love it. That's it. I mean, some days are hard. Just keep at it. And then and some when days it gets, are easy. And when it gets frustrating, just think about, this is what we're doing. What is there to complain about it? We're playing. Oh, so God. That's so good. <laughs> if there was one piece, piece of advice you would give somebody, what would it be? About winging. Oh, about winging? <laughs> well, I was going to say, <laughs> be kind. Um, <laughs> about winging? Something that you've learned that could help? I'm still learning. <laughs> So, be, I guess be patient. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Patience. Don't give up. <laughs> Don't give up. I just, I found it to be real technical and real difficult, the steps of progression. Yep. But um, as you get it, it becomes easier slowly. Yep. So just don't give up. I see a lot of people out there. I was one of them that was cursing all the money you spend on the equipment and all the time. Just keep at it. Keep at it. And now do you love it? Absolutely. I love it. It completely replaced kiting. That was like the best piece of advice right there. Just, so. just stay on it. That keep was at money. it, man. Thank you Your so videos, much. Your videos, to be honest. That was awesome. <laughs> I would say try and learn. If you don't know how to foil, then get learn foiling before you try and get in the water. So get an e-foil, take some e-foil lessons, or go behind a jet ski or behind a boat. Figure out that whole feeling of, of foiling. Once you get that down, then it'll cut your, your learning time way down. I'd say don't overcomplicate it. Okay, that's um, a great tip. As long as you kind of just focus on the basics, you can really get going. Plain old, just not giving up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you just stay at it and that's it? I think so, yeah. All right, we got the legend right here. Another legend. There's a lot of legends here. This is Stuart, Florida. And I don't know why I'm holding this. I have a mic here. Go ahead and tell me that. Okay. <clears throat> can I ask you the most? Do you mind if we interview no, you? No, you can interview me. This, this dude's a man right here. Very inspirational. I'm just saying that beforehand. But, um, okay, we got to ask you the most important question in winging. And yes. that is, is winging hard or is it easy? Winging is exactly what you put into it. You can make it hard or you can make it easy. But I think it's a sport that's suited for everyone. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any age any physical capability and as a general rule I'd like to tell the public that women do better than men initially 
Ooh. because guys think they can bench press and it's all about the strength, yeah. but the gals are more technique. I'm going to do what the Finesse. instructor says, and yeah. for the first couple months, the gals are out there tearing up the guys. And if there was one piece of advice, just one tip that helped you the most when you were learning, what would that be that you could share with everybody? The number one tip is to watch the riders that ride the best, have a conversation with them, everybody's friendly, and use their experience to save you the pain of learning. <laughs> because they will tell you, you know, I've been there and I've done that, and you don't want to repeat those mistakes. So really learn from the people that have walked that path before you. And, and that is spot on. Engage with the locals, engage with your local communities, find the wingers, talk to them. You're gonna run into amazing humans like this. And then you're gonna get the best information and you're gonna get out there and you're gonna realize winging is easy. It's easy and it's fun and be happy. Everybody here is happy. I love it. That's it. That's On that it. note, we love you guys. That's Thank it. you so much. We'll see you next time. Aloha. <laughs> that was money.